Off to bed now, Jody. Say what? <laughs> they just have an intercom that they can. Oh, I got a flashlight and everything too. The, even the flashlight is pink. Ridiculous. So I guess they're just gonna be monitoring her. I hope the monsters don't attack. It is that demented looking bunny. His eyes are all wide. Like he saw Satan or something. I'm gonna turn off the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait. Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. The lights are gonna shut off, aren't they? Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep. And nothing is gonna happen. <sighs> you jinxed it, man. Don't you know anything? There's gonna be a repeat of the night with her foster parents. Look at that, we gotta roll over and do the same stuff. All that's missing is a snowball fight. I can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. Well, you want me to get you a story? Whoops. What the hell is going on? Ooh! Aiden's so nice sometimes. There's an elephant! The elephant was walking. And then... And then what? What happened next? Oh jeez! What the... What the... No! What is this? What do you want me to... Ooh! What do I do? What do I do? What's going on? What's going on? You! Hey! Cole! Go get the goblin! James Franco! Tommy McGuire! Leave her alone! Ugh. What? What are they- What? Where are they coming from? Oh! Back up, back up! What the hell is going on? What do you want with her? I'll have you know that this is very rude. He already has a ghost host person, poltergeist, whatever. It's just like that stupid condenser crap. Really? You guys are terrible. <laughs> this girl could be dead. Green Goblin, I'm not impressed. Finally. My God, Jody! Get a doctor! Hurry! It's okay. It'll be all right now. Hayden isn't scared of them anymore. That's right. All these other ghost bitches can't be picking fights with Aiden. No way. No, sir. He'll fight them to the undeath, like other girls. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do I get to pick on other teenagers again? That would be fun. That was my favorite part, probably. I should have killed Matt when I had the chance. I really should have. Maybe I'll get to kill him now. That would be great. Get my sweet revenge. I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go and I can't? 
I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun. For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. She can break out if she wants. She's going to break out. Just smash open a window and hop on out of here. Not sure what the deal is with this goth outfit. At least I'm assuming it's goth. Oh, hold on. Let's play the guitar. Uh-oh. Time to piss off the neighbors. <laughs> Impressive, Jody, but that doesn't really solve anything, does it? Hold on. It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun. I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. What's up with this smiley face? <laughs> Convince. Please. Come on, Cole. Please. Please let me out just this once. Why do you have to tell Nathan everything? I'm sorry, princess. But I can't. It's not my call. Yeah, I don't blame Cole. And neither should Jody. But she'll find a way out. Hold on. Wait, is this the same? I think it's the same exact room. So much for being a couple days. Can I not go in there? Hey, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so much for being a couple days. This is more like, uh... Several years. Many, many years. Like, at least... Five, six, seven, something like that. I think the one where she's younger, she's like eight years old. And here she's like, I don't know... What the... What was that about? Aiden was talking or something. Whatever. Uh... What do I do? Ah ha ha ha! Uh-oh. She's grounded. What did she do wrong? <laughs> Lambable, huh? Yeah, don't say. Enough. <laughs> you nowhere. It's not up to Jody, it's up to me. I didn't pissed. Oh. Hello, expensive uh television. Bye bye, expensive television. Are you done? Nope. Are you proud of yourself? I oh, am. So. You have to clean all that up. Can't clean up a broken TV. Just gonna have to throw it out. Oh, stop it, Aiden. They don't give a shit if we break everything in this goddamn room. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. Ah. But I want to go insane and just blow everything up. So what's up with the phone call? Does she have a cell phone or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calm down. She smashed up the apartment first, but <laughs> she's calmed down. I have an idea. Sure, I'll see you tomorrow. 
<laughs> Poor Cole. Oh well. Time to let Jody go. I would have liked to have smashed everything up though. That would have been really fun. I'm, I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this. But you understand, right? I just, I need to go out tonight. Yeah, this is probably a bad idea in hindsight, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Keep this story moving forward. Oh wow, this building is creepy. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. No, it's not. You could just go right back in there, stop possessing coal, and everything would be a okay. Th this building is gonna be filled with ghosts here in a second. Wait, is this the door out? It is. Locked. Oh, you don't say. Of course it is. Oh, hold on. He's got a pass with a code on it. That ought to do it. Ta da! So, where exactly are we going? <laughs> We're going to a party, apparently, but. How would she even know about a party? This is just. I'm not following completely. Hold on. I see street lamps. We're getting out of here, people. We're making a break for it. Well, hello, Cole. Jody. Uh oh. Day trip, isn't it? Fresh air. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I just. I'm feeling dumb. I'm not. I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick, so we were just gonna go. Um, and get some fresh air. You okay? Um, you want you want us to call the infirmary? No, 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 no. There's 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 no need. I'm um. You know, Cole's looking after me. So, right, Cole? Yeah. So. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm. What? What do I do? Oh, that works. He, uh, he's in a really bad mood. I, he hasn't even said a word all day. Um, um. He he doesn't feel too much like talking today. Uh, I think his um, his grandmother died, or something. Don't look at him in the eyes. Crap. Speak. Uh. Uh, he, he lost. He he lost his voice. We keep changing our story. Like a, a virus or something. So, I, that's more than that's more than I've gotten out of him all all day long. So. Well, it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right. Well. See ya. Whew! Dodged a bullet there. What the heck was that? See her face had like twitched. It was too quick of a facial expression change to be normal. At least we don't have to look for Cole's car. Whatever. Yeah, how exactly everywhere. does she know not hang around here too long. about this party? Oh no, it's locked. Who could have foreseen this? Now get in the car and start it up. I don't know. Aiden's a ghost. I don't think he's... <laughs> I doubt he took driving lessons. 